back with another video. Back, 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 back. And y'all, as y'all can see, this is a video on knotless braids and about five styles that you can do with these braids. Um, if you guys don't know, this is a natural protective style, of course, is not box braids. Box braids have that little knot at the top. And when you first get it done, you cannot move your hair around. Knotless braids, it literally starts off with your regular hair and then they braid it down. So some people are like, oh, they look thin, but they're supposed to because they're knotless. And it's supposed to kind of match with your natural hair coming out of your scalp. So it's supposed to look like scalp. You feel what I'm saying? So knotless braids, they look very natural. You can get them long, you can get them short. It don't even matter. And then it's less tension. And y'all, this is the best part. When you get them in, literally you can pull them up in a ponytail. You can do everything right after you get them done. Like box braids, no. The only con with knotless braids are that, of course, it's your natural hair sticking up. Like not sticking up, but it's your natural hair in the beginning. So you're prone to frizzies and different stuff like that. I think a little bit more quick, more quicker than box braids, just because it starts out with your natural hair. But hey, box braids be getting frizzy too. I definitely feel like knotless is the way to go. They take a tad bit longer because you have to literally feed in, like the braider is feeding in, feeding in, feeding in. So it takes a little bit longer, but in my opinion, they're perfect and they look amazing. Like y'all, my braids took about 15 hours because I got them super duper long. And I got a little bit, I got some small boxes in the back and stuff like that. So my braids took a little longer. But me and her was chatting. We was doing all that stuff. So yeah, that don't matter. But in this video, I'm here to show you guys how you can do different styles with the box braids. So let me just go ahead and show you guys like style number one. So style number one, I kind of already have it like positioned that way. Like all you can really do, you can put them to the side like this. So you can wear them to the side cute you can put it over your ear like that see y'all box braids could never okay but yeah just put them to the back wear them like that okay so style number two depending on where your person like braided your hair you could definitely do like a middle part unfortunately mine is kind of like a off center middle part but y'all this is a sewing like look at this you could just put it behind your ear like that and then boom you know what i'm saying so this could be like style number two if you wanted to do a middle part or whatever. So style number three, we're gonna hit them with like a half up, half down. So you see how easy they move? Like they're so flexible. So I'm literally going up like this, going up like that. And then boom, you can put them up like this. Let me see. Go ahead and put your, get your points of holder, of course, and just put them on up. Just like this, super easy. Nothing hurts at all. And I just got my braids done like yesterday. So yeah, see, half up, half down. Look number three. You can switch it to either side or you can just put it in the middle like that. Really cute, simple. So look number four. We could kind of hit them with a, a little bun at the top, let's see. We can hit them with a bun. So half up, half down with a little bun at the top. Like this. Y'all, that's cute. All right. <laughs> okay, y'all, I think I'm on look number five or four. Whichever one. I don't know, y'all. I got a lot of looks with this. Like these, this is so easy and just everything. So look number whatever. <laughs> we can start from the front and then kind of pull them up. Kind of let them hang a little bit like this. And then what you're gonna do is take some and you can do kind of like a twist. Go into the back like this. So something like that. Kind of like a twist. And then you can just go ahead and swoop it to the back like this. And then you'll just use like a bobby pin not, matter of fact, don't use a bobby pin. Use like a small rubber band. Don't use a big scrunchie because it's gonna look a little weird, but like a small rubber band and just rubber band in the back and then it'll just stay to the back like this. So yeah, just like look number four. Do a twist in the front like this. 
Okay, y'all. Um, another look you could possibly do, of course, is a full pony. Literally, I told y'all this hair does not hurt at all. So you can do you a full pony. Hold on, guys. So with the full pony, you want to make sure that all the braids are up. All the braids are up neatly. So no way left behind. You want to make sure you got a nice and decent size ponytail holder, of course. And then literally put all the braids up in our pony. Y'all, this is like look number six. So yeah, all the braids are up in a ponytail. Just like that. Super cute. Let me show you how to get that. Okay, guys, so I think last few styles, of course, you can hit them with a all to the side and one right here. You can hit them with, you do like a braid here and like a braid here. Let me see. Like two braids here. And then the rest up like this. Like you can have some down in the back and then put these up in the pony and just have some down in the back, just a little bit. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna call this the, I don't know, the antlers. <laughs> the antlers. So yeah, you guys. You can do it like this, something like that. So you have two in the front, ponytail, half up, half down. That's cute. So something like this, maybe to the side and also you can go ahead and leave these these four up like out and then you can just put it all up like this like all in a ponytail there's so many styles you can do with it because they don't hurt and you can just have fun with them like as soon as you get them you don't have to wait a couple days or a week until your hair just calms down your scalp's not hurting no more you literally can go ahead and just lift up pull it whatever you want to do in such a short notice so it feels amazing to be able to do so many styles so quickly with these braids so i encourage all my gals to try knotless at least once instead of doing box braids and knotless like i feel like they might last me just a tad bit longer just because like they're so little and i don't really got to do much just keep my scalp moisturized um and with the moisturize, you wanna just go ahead and get some growth oil. I sell hair growth oil. Um, the packaging looks crazy right now because I done got some oil on the side. It was just dripping on the side. I don't know what I was doing. But yeah, it's castor oil in here, coconut oil, rosemary oil, jojoba, peppermint, ginger, vitamin E, and grapeseed oil all in one bottle. And this chunk stimulates so good. Like right here, my edges are like kinda thin. So I've been using them. And my edges have been doing so much better. So literally, you can just go in, like, while you have your braids in, go in, moisturize your scalp. Keep it cool, keep it calm, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it moisturized. And you can get my um oils. I'm going to leave the description box below. So, yeah, those are really, really good. For, like, box braids, any protective styles, crochet, anything. My girl hair growth oil is a must, I'm telling you. And it smells so freaking good. So you just want to make sure you're keeping your hair moisturized at all times anyway. So click that link below. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video on how to style your knotless braids or your box braids. Hey, whichever one. But yeah, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love y'all, and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next video. See